Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to show you how to manage topics and topic flow in Moodle. Uh, this video was filmed in August 2013, so depending on when you're accessing the video and what version of Moodle you're using, your site may look a little different from what you see in this video, uh, but the basic functions and principles should still hold on your site. Watch carefully, feel free to pause this video when you need to, and you should be able to use these steps to help you manage the topics and the flow of your Moodle course. One thing you'll notice about Moodle is that it can quickly start to feel cluttered or confusing to students, and so a well-organized Moodle start site can actually start to feel like a chapter book. Um, so if you're doing it right, it should sort of feel like a chapter book with nice easy to follow headings and titles for each section and a nice sort of narrative arc to the content within each section that you set up. Uh, one of the easiest ways to add good structure to your Moodle site is to add proper topic titles and to make sure you keep highlighting the active topics in your course and changing what's highlighted as you progress throughout this semester. Um, so this will make it easier for students to understand where they should be focusing their attention at any given time within your site. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, let's look at this uh, example site and see how it's organized. And as we take a tour of this site, just remember there are a lot of different personal styles and ways to organize your site. Um, but some of these uh, ideas should hold for whatever you're you're going to set your set, however you're going to set your site up. So you'll notice uh, this site has the syllabus and then I guess any other important references that don't change over the course of the semester. And you should put those at the top of the site because this uh, is sort of the anchor. This very top panel is the anchor of your site and that won't change over the course of the semester. Um, you'll see then that this site has an introduction section, welcoming students, um, and you can use this to add some course goals um, and encourage students to come back and compare their progress with these course goals throughout the semester. Um, these aren't really empty threats or statements, these should be sort of meaningfully framed reasons that they would take the course and expect th things they would reasonably expect to learn in this course. Um, and students can come back and kind of compare their progress to these goals. Uh, another thing you can do in this introduction section is use it as a way to establish your social presence as a professor. Um, that's just a good practice to make students feel like there is somebody teaching them and somebody behind uh, the things that they're learning. Um, so you can add an about the professor section, add a video, embed a video of yourself um, welcoming them, things like that. You can also make a forum or something to encourage them to introduce themselves to the course. Again, this is personal style, not all of this is necessary, but just some stuff to think about um, as you organize your course. You'll also notice that this site has some topic sections, which are clearly labeled. Um, and then within each section, um, you'll see some subtopics or kind of subsections that are labeled with uh, what, what Moodle calls a label. So you can add those separately as labels, and there'll be another video to explain how to do that. But for now, just notice that there are topic sections as you go throughout that you can label and change. Also, one thing you can do is to highlight the active section at any given time. So for example, when students first start the course, you might highlight this introduction section to let them know that they want, uh, that they should be focusing on this very first part and kind of go through the activities there. And then as the course progresses, you can change and click on these light bulbs as you go through uh, and change which topic is highlighted. So that will just help students focus in immediately. You may want to point that out to them too, that you'll you'll go in and, and change the highlight every week for what they should be focusing on um, to the current section that they should be focusing on. Um, one other question then too, as we went through and I showed you the labels, how do you set up those labels in Moodle? Um, Moodle by default sets these topic labels at the top. Um, to be called something generic like topic three or topic five. Um, you should, one of the first things you should do is go ahead and change that based on your maybe chapter titles or your theme of the week, something like that. However you're organizing your course, change these by clicking on this little edit summary button for each, within each topic panel. And you'll notice I've already done that for this section. Um, you're gonna need to uncheck this box, use default section name. And then you can override the default section name, topic five, and change it to something a little more fun or a little more germane to what you're actually um, teaching. You can also add a summary to each section. Um, that's kind of good practice to sort of frame the how and why for students. Why is this topic important? How does it fit into the general course um, reality, the general course subject matter you're talking about? So these are metacognitive um, Framing you can put in there, that's a great thing to put in, in brief in this summary area here and that will show up on the Moodle main page. Um, so that will help you change your section name and you can add the summary there if you want to for each section and save changes. 
Um, yeah, you can see where that's been done here. Here's the section name, override the default and make it something a little more obvious. Um, and then here's a little summary that frames, has some framing remarks for students. The other thing you can do is you'll notice that your Moodle site will come set up naturally with maybe 12 or 16 different sections. Sometimes that's too much for people and they want to reduce the number of sections. The way you can do that is to go and click over into the settings panel and edit your main course settings. And you can actually get rid of um, some of those default sections that are created. Uh, You'll actually want to change this to topics format too. That's one other thing I said. If you don't want to have a weekly structure, if you want to have more of a topical structure, you'll see I've changed this to topics format. You do have some options. You can have a weekly format too that shows um, progress over the course of the semester. Those are sort of default weeks that are set up. Um, and you can ignore the other formats for now. Those are a little more um, advanced than we're going to focus on now. But if you want to change the number of sections in your site, you'll see I've already done that to just six. So maybe my course really only has six main topics we're covering, go ahead and change the number of sections there. Um, you don't need to keep it at the default um, numbers here. Go ahead and add what makes sense for your subject matter. Just remember to save changes too. So that's in the main Moodle edit settings panel. All right, so that should get you started on arranging your topics, changing these uh, topic labels to be something more relevant to your subject. Um, highlighting the sections as you move through your course and uh, changing the number of topics in your course so that you don't have several topics dangling at the end that, that you're not using. Um, remember taking the time to organize your Moodle site like this and these good framing remarks for students that you put in your course uh, will save you a lot of time answering questions, frantic questions from students throughout uh, the semester or participants who are confused by the site layout. So it really is worth the effort to take a couple minutes at the beginning of a semester and, and try this out. Thanks and happy moodling.